Sirach chapter 15 from verse 15 to 20. I read in Jesus' name. If you want to, you can keep the Lord's commands. If you can decide whether you will be loyal to him or not, he has placed fire and water before you. Reach out and take whichever you want. You have life and get whatever you choose. The Lord's wisdom and power are great, and he sees everything. He is aware of everything a person does, and he takes care of those who fear him. He has never commanded anyone to be wicked or given anyone permission to sin. Praise God. Amen and amen. Memo Kambulo Yedema Hezi Chineke Memo Kamburo Yedema Hezi Chimama Memo Kamburo Yedema Hezi Chineke Memo Kamburo Yedema Hezi Chimama our reflection and prayer today is, God will perfect all that concerns me. Can I hear you say it? God will perfect all that concerns me. Yet, my dear brothers and sisters, as we have titled our reflection this morning, coming from verse 8 of Psalm 138, we come to know that there are many things that happen around us. These things are not easily accepted by us. They devastate us and they leave us broken. But at the same time, just as our title this morning said, that God will perfect all that concerns. We come to know that our hope and trust will only remain in God. Because on our own, we cannot fix anything. The only good thing we are, we can do is to scatter all the more. But then also knowing that we cannot do anything does not mean that there is no solution at all. No matter how it is, we still have our hope and confidence reposed in our God. Just as we know that the year is still young, although we are already in the second month of the year. But I remember by the special inspiration of the Holy Spirit, this prayer ministry comes to say that this month, is month of divine presentation. We are not just presented for the sake of presentation. We are not just presented for formality's sake. We are presented for a purpose. And that purpose is divine because it's not a casual presentation that is done to us, but a divine presentation. And once God comes into anything, the expectation is actually miraculous and awesome. So I said to you, even as we are at the midpoint of this month, that it's a month of divine presentation, everybody knows that. But today, the divine presentation that God wants to do in our life is taking another dimension and shape. And that is why I tell to you that I have gathered to be with us priests here in today's prayer, that as you are presented, God shall perfect you. No matter whatever you experience, we still know that that presentation is for a purpose. There is a target. It's not easy. Except you have not experienced difficulties and predicament. That's where you will think it is easy. Even I, that actually work here with you, that pray for you, it was not easy. Last Thursday, we lost our fourth cousin. She has been there to us, and then you know what it means. Yes, that actually reminded me that there are things I cannot do. But at the same time, even at that, for the fact that I trust, my, I trust myself upon the Lord, 
I should actually allow God to actually do it in a way that suits him. Yes, that reminds me also of an adorer that I noticed that he's one of our great financiers here. A very abundant uh, 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 sponsor or benefactor here. I noticed, I didn't even know what was happening. But yet, as I read from their test, it became that the wife lost a baby, a pregnancy. It devastated them. It broke them. But at the same time, yet one thing that I know is that once you cannot do anything, there is somebody that is ready to do it for you. Yet in your moment of difficulty, in your moment of brokenness, in your moment of terrible situations, why not if not? You have to actually try to see how you hand over everything to God. For those who hear Igbo, the song I started with says, Mem Kamburonye de Ma. Yes, that song is actually a good one. Because we know that it's only God that can turn every situation around. If not God, who else again that can do it? Yes, that is why it became very pertinent for us today to pray that God will perfect all that consigns me. It's not easy. When you are in terrible situation, when there is horror that makes it terrible for you, I tell you that the best thing for you is to quit. But remember that yet, that, they, that if you fail to actually uh, uh, continue, that that means a lot for you. Failure to plan is plan to fail. Yet, winners never quit and quitters never win. And that is why Romans 8 from 35 tells us that in all this, in what, in which things, afflictions, perils, persecutions, that strategic challenges, austerity, poverty, doubt of things, lack of things, impoverishment, but still, yet it's only in all this that God proves himself. Yet, even in midst of this, one thing you should know that God makes you to be more than conqueror. If not, why not? And that is why we come to think about it. The year has started, but there are storms here and there. There are hiccups here and there. There are tents giving us consign. I wouldn't know how many years you have worshipped with me. You notice that immediately I saw, nobody told me, but from far, I noticed there is a situation. I called attention of everybody. This is the first time. For me, anything will be happening. I will be like, yes, highest I can call the attention of the intercessors. I will continue what I am doing. I have hope. I have trust. And that is our relationship with our God. But if you are actually attentive today, you will notice that nobody even told me that something is going amiss there. I was the one that found out by myself. And as I discovered, I actually caught attention of everybody. This is what before now, I can just shift it to my intercessors. I don't even disturb myself on that. But you notice yet that I was seriously involved. At a point, I was confused. I told them, take her out. I said, bring her the back of chapel. I that we are telling them to take the, her there and there. I didn't know when I ended, take her to the altar. Because something was in me that devil has come. Yes, because this is the beginning of the year. And that is why you should know it. Temptation does not come from God. Who is a colleague among God? Who actually had the first reading of today? From James chapter 1. Marvelous to know the source of temptation and trials are not God. We know it, but it's through God's power and intervention that temptations are subdued, that triads are actually relieved. Yet, that is why I said to somebody today, it is a new day, it is a good day. Why not? We must pray. You may take it simple, but I saw a lesson God wants to send across. It's not just a lesson sent across. It's not just a lesson taught. But it is a lesson learned. Do you know 
even in our calmness, yet we have prayed and we have said, God, take over this situation. When the whole tension was doubt, it's as if to say, God didn't do anything. I love the drama that played out. The mother of that lady that was brought to the altar, who saw when everything started, but because of her age, she was not able to come quickly to the altar. Maybe she was gathering because it's like the woman had small baby or what. Because I saw the mother of the woman carrying other things. Maybe she was trying to gather other things. To, but the point I am making, before she came here, that God has done it. Yet, she did not know what was happening. She was crying. Omi Jesus, don't allow my child, my daughter to die. And that was when I used microphone to say, Omi, for him, Omi, because he has actually done it. I love that melodrama that played out. Because when God helps us out, we did not even consider the degree and magnitude of the problem before it was solved. Do you know that any person that actually dies, he can actually survive that death by a Whether it's not only in the situation of accident, even if someone is in the hospital, you notice that at a point that the person's temperature changes and then it's become what the nurses and doctor call critical situation. Many a times they try to resuscitate the person by actually bringing in oxygen and giving the person. But at times also you see that they will not save the situation. You see it that once God helps us to come out of challenging situation, we easily forget, we quickly forget. But then also you are alive today. It's only we that can actually face our situation. It's only we that can put our faith in our hand. And that is why we come to say today that God will perfect all that consigns us. Yet, my dear brothers and sisters, it's only our God that can actually do that. Because we know that we cannot do what he does. If you think that you can handle the situation, or if you think that God is not doing anything, be ready to answer these following questions. One is verse 37 of Matthew 5 that said, Can you actually make your hair to be black or white? Can you answer me? Are you hearing me? Then the next one is the one recorded in Luke chapter 12 verse 7. And it says, Oh, can you count the number of strands of hair in your head? Can I hear somebody? And the last series of this interrogation or question is the one recorded in Matthew chapter 6, verse 27. Oh, can you add a cubit to your lifespan? What are you answering me? Can I hear the answer loudly? Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. That will tell you that we can, as we cannot do this, but we know that our God can actually do this. According to Revelation 21 verse 5, it says that he maketh all things new. Why not? He's the only perfecter that we have. A master planner. A perfect designer. That is our God. He knows how to turn everything around and he makes it to come out good. No wonder the Bible tells us in verse 31 of Genesis 1 that all he has created good. And that is why we come to know it. That today is a special day. That thing we cannot do. We keep on calling our God. We know that he knows how to do it. We know that he can manage every situation. Today is a day that I see God coming to your life in a special way and becoming a perfecter. First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 10 says that oh when the perfect thing comes the imperfection disappears. Why not if not? Who is perfect if not God? Who is actually the perfect good if not God? And that is why today, as we come in prayer, we actually surrender ourselves to him, believing that he will hear our prayer. Sincerely, I tell you that the sign is very enormous. 
I decided by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to pray with you with this team that God will perfect all that concerns you. I didn't discuss it with anybody. But for those who know the Bible, verse 25 of Genesis 41, when there were two dreams that we are told that Pharaoh had and they were related to Joseph, yet after they finished with one, they asked Joseph about the other one. You remember that the two dreams they brought to Joseph in the prison. We are, the, the dreams were one about the fat cow and the thin cow. About the fruitful corn and the shriveled corn. That's the language the Bible used. When they told him one, they wanted to say to him the other. And Joseph told them that the two dreams are one. Why it came in twos is just to confirm that this is a real dream from God. My brother here, the priest that led us in the opening prayer as we exposed the blessed sacrament. Father Kilian by, by name, when he was praying, he comes to say that in our adoration of today, in our prayer of today, in our testimony of today, in all we do today, that it will be to the perfect name of God. I did not discuss anything with him. Is already a confirmation. Even as we know, as that woman started dying there, there was alarm. We were quite alarmed. There was panic. We were quite panic. There was fear. We were mo much frightened. There was apprehension. We were in phobia. But still, you know it. That yet, even in midst of this critical situation, there are testimonies going on. And that to tell you that it's not yet over until it is over. The only testimonies I have had from January till now is enough for me to say, God, here I am. I am not backing out. It's, it's you all through the way. Only you all through my life. But you see it. In a minute, when there is a trouble, when there is a tension, you forget very easily. You see the confirmation. My brother priest came this morning to pray for us. That in our prayer of today, in our assembly of today, in our gathering of today, in our testimony of today, in most importantly, in our adoration of today, that it will be unto the perfect name of God. Without knowing that God, Father, oh, Father is not here. Father, you can look into my paper dear, in my, my, file, my diary, and check what I titled it. I record my homily. I yet, I write it down. I already titled it that God will perfect all that concerns us. Even before our brother came here to pray for us. Which means that God has actually confirmed that today is a day of perfection. Yes, there is no need of being afraid of anything. Why are you here? It's that imperfection that brought you. But congratulations, you are not at the wrong place. You are at the right place. Sorry, I am not repeating myself, but I am saying it for the emphasis sake, that once the perfection comes, the imperfection runs away. Why not, if not, 1 Corinthians 13, 10. This is also an opportunity for you to be endeared with the word of God. Yet, I decided to replicate here the first reading of last Sunday. Sirach chapter 15 from verse 15. It's wonderful for us to hear my attention was drawn in verse 18 that says that, oh, that in his, that in his might, there is power. He is mightily powerful. And then he sees everything. Yet, in his mighty, in his mighty, there is power. And he sees everything. Which means, according to Jerusalem Bible, that God is almighty. He has power to do everything. And he sees everything. Yet we know that Ben Sirach was one of those that his books were cho chosen as canonical books. And that is why for the Anglican, for the Protestant, for the Pentecostals, they don't have it in their own Bible. Because their Bible only has 66 books. But then we believe that there are many things written. That there are many people who God has used. But it's not every inspired book that was actually approved. For those that was approved, we call them canonical books. And we know there was a time 
that the Catholic Church was actually regulating everything that matters to faith. My dear brothers and sisters, as we hear Ben Sirach say today, one thing that comes to my mind is obvious, and that is, today is a day for you to know God sees your situation, that God knows your condition. As he sees your condition and knows your situation, he has power to act upon your situation. Scientists can tell you that action and reaction is equal and opposite. It's not about your situation. It's about how that reacts over your situation. In as much as it's God reacting over your situation, I tell you that that situation can actually diminish. And that's why we come to hear it. As Sirach says it, not just that he sees it all, but we should also know that he saves us. But we are only guaranteed of his salvation once we are living in his will. And that is why verse 15 of today's anchor passage says that as you keep his commandment, he will certainly save you. I don't want to go far on that. Let the things of the world not shake us. Psalm 125 verse 1 says that blessed are those who trust upon the Lord because they are like Mount Zion. Nothing will definitely shake them. Yet, problems will come. This thing will actually give us concern. But one thing we know today is that we must not be distracted. We must keep to, do, we must keep to his law. We must do that thing he has commanded us. I rewind back to last Tuesday's testimony. The very last testimony. The boy that came out with the mother. As far as I'm concerned, that testimony is a lesson for each and every one of us. Today's anchor passage is more of us doing the will of God. But it didn't stop there. As we keep the commandment of God, that God will save you. And that will tell us that yet we must make every effort to keep the commandment. The boy that came out with his mother last week told us how a particular girl was actually persuading him to have sex with her. Yes, the girl said, it's my joy that I will diverging you. Imagine a girl diverging a boy. You know it. Thank God that both of them are within the same age bracket. It's good for us to see it. Devil never rest. He continue to test and tempt you. But it's for you to stand and it's for you to resist. James told us that we must resist all temptation in order to desist evil. If you don't resist temptation, you cannot desist from evil. I know it's not encouraging to pray while you are living in sin. But if you have to tell yourself the truth, you know that you don't concentrate in prayer if you are not actually leading the life. And that is why I take somebody to verse 41 of Matthew chapter 26. Jesus urged and admonished the disciples to keep on praying, to keep a watch, because lest they fall into temptation. My dear brothers and sisters, what said this young boy was that he was here in prayer. According to him, he's not the kind that likes prayer. His mother keep on dragging him to the church. Many a times he dodges. But he was not able to dodge because everybody was in the house. It was for a video. And then the mother dragged him to this video. He was here. The word of God was being broken. And then at a point, God used his word to arrest him. He was still contemplating the juicy promises made to him by a girlfriend. But at that point, according to him, the Holy Spirit took us to sex education. He started dropping what was being said. And after that, he called the girl to come. The girl now went to wherever that, that she gathers power, preparing, thinking that this will be the day that she will actually consume everything that is pleasure from the boy. Without knowing that God has arrested her partner in crime. She came and the boy started preaching to her. Before she could have said a jack, the boy actually played the recorded voice 
And it was a preaching from here. And the girl told her, point out this, that do you think you can escape? Yet she dragged her, but nothing happened. And they, they quarreled and went out and, uh, and separated. The boy came home. He lost his senses. The worst could have been done to him if he actually slept with the girl. They have already prepared that once the boy gives in to the advances of the girl, they will use it as a means to initiate him. That is why it's good for you to hear. Don't think that it's a waste of time praying. Make out time to pray. You may be the most beautiful lady in the whole world. You may be the most richest person in your neighborhood in Lagos. You may be the most endowed, the most talented, the most gifted. You may be the most favored and the luckiest person. But I tell you, each time you severe in praying, you expose yourself to many dangers. Dangers that you will have yourself to, bring, to be blamed. Yet we know it. That prayer life make, neutralizes every jeopardy of our life. Prayer life is a, a tranquilizer unto the things that will jeopardize our life. You come to see it. Supposing that this boy didn't pray and he goes to sleep with this girl, you could have known what will happen to him. Even me that saw the boy on last two Tuesday, when we have ended adoration, he was not talking. He was just panting. They said he has been like this. Worse situations than as I met him. Many other priests have prayed for him. But we thank God. He, he was so conscious. Although he didn't fall into coma. But even as he was conscious, he was not fully conscious. He lost his memory. He was not able to communicate. He was not relaying any information. That is the condition we met him. But thank God that he did not give in. Supposing he slept with that girl, he could have been finished. My dear brothers and sisters, I say it again to you. Don't think it's a waste of time. There is somebody somewhere so Koroma Kara Hikara. Your girlfriend has been persuasive upon you. Why are you doing this? Why are you going to prayer? Enjoy your life now you are young. I want to tell you, you don't know what God is doing because you are praying. Is it Father Leo saying it first? Jesus is our master. He lays a good example for us. And he has said in verse 41, as I have told you, of Matthew 26, that keep on praying so that you will not fall into temptation. Who knows? It's not about it. Tell yourself the truth. It's not everybody that does the same thing. Everybody is not stealing. Everybody is not lying. Everybody is not slandering. Everybody is not a mischief. Is not mischievous. Everybody is not an idolater. Everybody does not apostatize. Everybody does not commit adultery. Everybody is not a fornicator. In case you see yourself in doing one or two of these, know you that you need to stand up in prayer. Be careful. Those who are not doing it, they are not doing it because they don't like the pleasure. Even people will say, Omolonya bunye sugar or bopia. I don't have a watch. I steal a watch. Definitely, when I wear the watch, people will say, Ah, your watch is fine. You see it. So you see, everybody likes good things. Those who are not stealing, they are not stealing because what they will gain from stealing will not actually be a good thing. But they know that is not actually a good thing in total. And that is why they actually avoid stealing. The same thing with everything, especially the sin of flesh, the sin of sexual pleasure. Let us learn from the lesson of that boy. Yet I have already prepared what I want to say last week. But this week, I took time to reflect more on it. If we tell you, you will not believe. It's not every man or woman you see on the road that is a real human being. The person may know himself. The person may know her background. But I tell you, there is already a pollution. Yesterday night I was preparing. I had a serious encounter, a vision. Can I hear somebody say, see ya? Yeah. Yes, we continue to believe in it. Because I know, John, like the woman that came out here to talk about the dream she had. You can see it. 
For those who were the pioneer members of this adoration, we never intended calling here Omihuku ground. We had many name calls. We wrote them out, but we noticed they were dying a natural death. Yet I remember that there was a time we called this a Benedictine ministry, Benediction ministry. There was also a time we called it Adora's ministry. There was a time we called it Tuesday Adoration, and so on and so forth. There was no day we came out to announce that from today we will be answering Omiyuku Jesus. It just came like that, and then as he sees the light of the day, it was actually tra transmuting to something that is better. Whether you like it or not, whether you are in the north, whether you are in the south, whether you are in the east, whether you are in the middle belt, whether you are in the west, whether you are in the west, whether you are in Niger Delta, once you hear Omi Uku Jesus, you already know that we are talking about this adoration. That we tell you that our God is good all the time. Can somebody call him Omi again? Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. so so Jesus. Is it not sweet in the mouth? Sweet as it is sweet as as is sweet as we call it. So sweet things shall happen in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. I was given a vision. Say see ya. It's not for anything. It's unto the glory of God. I noticed Nafa and Alol. You had when Oluchi gave testimony. was like I prayed for her simply that I just said, oh, you will deliver safely. Yes, it's not. I remember. Last 10 years, last 15 years, I, uh, last 10 years, last 12 years, if you call me to pray for you, I, we will begin. Oh, our father 10 times. Hail Mary 10 times. Our glory be, have you witnessed it? Uh, 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 the Lord is my shepherd. Jesus, I love you. And we sing and sing and sing. And I begin to, anywhere they are, fire, let them destroy. The Lord, uh -huh. today, today, whatever that is holding your baby, wherever they are holding your baby, you must deliver. Yes, we are growing. We are actually mindful of the number. I believe in one thing. Anointing grows also as we grow. God hears our voice weaker. The more we call him, the more he hears. You don't need to. That's why Jesus said, let your prayer not be like a pagan. Because for pagan, they say too many words. But these words are not fulfilled. As little as you, may, you say your own words of prayer, that God can actually hear. I remember the, uh, the portion of the Bible that says that God is not deafened. Isaiah 59 that he cannot hear our pleads, and also that his hands are not short, that he cannot stretch it in order to bless us with it. Yet, my dear brothers and sisters, call, say, see ya. Call me, see ya. Yes, I wouldn't know in the presence of Jesus yesterday night, I was shown a vision of a pig. The pig was so scary, blocking the roads of many people. I was like, what is happening? When I prayed for that, it was not just a dream, it was a trance and a vision. I prayed for that. I didn't even know that it's going to rhyme with what God wants us to do today. Say that that pig is a symbol of imperfection. That there are people here that that pig have, has entered. And I checked Mark chapter 5. You know, Jesus was preaching. One man ran away from the tomb. He was under shackles and fetters, but he breaks everything. When he met Jesus, he fell on the ground and said that Jesus should help. Jesus asked him, who are you? He said, we are called legion because we are many. And there were over 2,000 pigs. Jesus commanded whatever that is in him to transfer to the pig. There are spiritual pigs here. Today, God has saved you. Today, your deliverance is guaranteed. Today, your freedom is guaranteed. Amen. Any covenant that has sent spiritual speak up to you, it shall go back to the covenant. Amen. Any shrine that has sent spiritual speak to you, it shall transfer back to where it's coming. Amen. 
anybody that has projected spiritual demonic peaks upon you, it shall be back to the sender. Can I hear a louder amen? Yes, I believe this scriptural passage actually clears our doubt. You see it, I saw it rare. It was disturbing me that I woke and started praying. At first, that's why I tell you, say see a call out see ya. We want, yes, because immediately I met this thing in the Bible that the sons of Jesse, we are calling somewhere. See ya, what do you have for us? It's not about trying to tell you that your mother is from Obosi, that your mother is from a very bad family. And therefore, what is happening to you is from your mother's elder, bro, elder brother who is uh, in Ocon, who has done this. His name is Albert. His name is, uh, is this, is that. Yes, it's not about it. What am I trying to say? That thing that God lay on our mouth immediately, we will not hesitate to say it. We say it out. We believe in that. Just like as I said, you can see it. You hear the testimonies. But even in the midst of this testimony, supposing that that woman died this morning, what will happen? Somebody will be like, oh, there is no way. No. In every situation, anywhere he comes, and even one day says, oh, that called the balloon, you're making it, or the man. That is where we are coming from. I want to be a seer. I remember when I walked those days in St. Mary's, 11 years back. One woman was sad, ranting. Ah, you are meeting Father Leo, the Father Anafuso. It's not about, I cannot be that prophet, you know. I cannot begin to throw confusion in your house. But if you call me, you're a pregnant woman, and it's your time to deliver, what do I pray? Oh God, as she is due, let her labor continue now. Let there be contraction. Let her dilate to a full term uh, 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 CM. And then grant her power to push this baby so that she will deliver like a Hebrew woman. I believe in it. As I say it, I believe that God has had. It depends on him. Why not if not? And that is why we are saying it. You see it. I know that when I told you, keep on praying when we brought the woman to the altar. So we are waiting to hear that powerful prayer from me. I anointed her. I said, he, she will not die here, Lord. She's already in your hand. Do it for us. Let this woman come back to life. And that is it. If he, uh, if he pleases God, he shall please us. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we saw that peak. We thank God. During prayer time, we shall raise it. There is no cause for alarm. Begin to thank God for your life. Today, 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 the spirit of imperfection that has been projected upon you in form of a spiritual pig has been already destroyed. In case they are still there during our prayer, they shall be totally destroyed. And the Egyptians you see, you shall not see them again. Can somebody say a louder amen? amen. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, that's why it's good. Leave down your dear friend Leave down your family friend that say, ah, enjoy your youth. Why are you wasting time going for prayers? You don't know what God is doing with the prayer. And in case I have not actually emphasized on it, be very careful. Not everybody that says hello to you, that you should go along with the person. You, the person is coming from. Know you that there are many things flying in the air. Just be very, very careful. The one thing that actually makes me to hate sin more is that sin is something that you need a partner to do. That person that partners with you in that sin, do you know his or her standing? Yet it's good for us to know it. It's better to be very careful. There are many of us that are dying slowly now just because of people that you have welcomed in our lives. Know you that there are people that you may say hello. 
Even people that you may say something that is even more than halo, it becomes something terrible for you. There are some of us that have slept with people coming from Marine. Do you know it's not only women that are from Marine Kingdom. Some men are also from Marine Kingdom. So whatever we say is gender free. It's for everybody. No, for whether you are a man, whether you are a woman, know it now. Be very, very careful. It's only when you keep the commandment of God that God saves you. There are some of vo your voices and authorities you have lost now. You, lo you lost them because of the things you make. This is, there is still opportunity for you. There is still time for you. Go back in prayer and God will help you to resist temptation. Why not if not? And we know it. But another thing that we should know now is also this makes us to know that our God is too faithful to fail. Keep on frequenting him. He will never fail. By the faith that you exercise, I tell you that he will remain faithful, that he will never fail. And that is why I challenge somebody today. You need to do something. It doesn't matter what has happened in the lab. What matters is what you are saying now. Just as Second Chronicles 20, 20 says, if you believe in the word of God, your life shall be established. It's only when you believe in the word of the prophet of God that your life shall prosper. Yes, I tell you, you are alive. But today, with the words of our prophecy, may God add flavor to your life. Let your life not just be like that, but let it become a meaningful life. And that is why I tell somebody, look at what happened to Abraham. Genesis 15. At a point, he told God, you have promised me too many things. No, you have never done any. And then you still want me to believe. But Abraham continued to believe. He never questioned God. He never, he did not leave God. He never left God. And that should be your situation. What happened? By the end of the day, those things God was telling him came to fulfillment. Even we that have gathered now in the Christian church, the Bible tells us that we are one in Christ. Galatians 3.27 As we are offspring, as we are offshoot of Christ, springing from the foundation Christ has laid that we automatically become heirs of the promises made to Abraham and seed of Abraham. I do quote here verse 55 of Luke 1, that as he has shown mercy to Abraham, not only to Abraham, but to his sons and his daughters, which means also that our God that Abraham frequented and he never fell as he continued to be faithful, we never also fail you. Why not if not? I can see it. The only thing you need to do, keep on pushing. Pray, not just until something happens. Keep on praying. And I tell you, the more you pray, the more God takes over your situation. Yet, I come to conclude it with what happened to our brother Jacob. He trusted so much in his mother. In Genesis 27, it was Rebecca who was the mother of the Jacob that gave him, gave him morale. More, more gave him the booster, told him, continue, take over what belongs to your brother. But by the end of the day, what happened? It was the woman that cooked, the, that offered that, uh, that very sumptuous meal to Jacob to present to their father, to her own husband, Isaac, so that when he eats it, he will now pronounce blessing upon our brother, Jacob. Yet, uh, Jacob got that blessing. Verse 28 and 29 of Genesis 27. But he had no peace. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 48, verse 20, there is no peace for the wicked man. Isaiah 48, verse 22, there is no peace for the wicked man. The father Isaac blessed him, but he had no peace. But then something actually happened. His brother, in verse 47 of the same Genesis 27, swore that he must kill him. They were not seeing eyeball to eyeball. Esau made up his mind to kill Jacob. Jacob ran away. Everybody knows that Genesis chapter 32, where Jacob was tired of running again. And then, at that point, he saw somebody who came to fight with him. And then, he started fighting. He told that person, I will never let you go unless you bless me. 
when he had that instinct that, from, that this person is not just ordinary, that this person has some spiritual and supernatural connotation, without premonition, he held on to God. That should be our own case. We must say, oh, perfect all that concerns me. Why not if not? You can imagine the Jacob that was running away from brother Esau. Now, after that encounter, the Bible said in verse of Genesis 32 that God actually blessed, uh, uh, blessed Jacob. You see it. Man can bless you. Woman can bless you. Friends can bless you. But I tell you that except God blesses you, you will never enjoy the blessing. The blessing that lasts forever is the blessing that comes from God. Yet it doesn't matter. The lesson here, God will perfect all things that concerns me. Let your past not hurt you. Haggai chapter 2 verse 9. The glory of the latter temple surpasses that of the old. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. Yet you might have been wicked in your sin. You might have been wicked in your desire. Your past life might have made you to be a horrible person. Give your life to Christ. He is waiting for you. I tell you that he make it all things new. The glory of the latter temple surpasses that of the old. The lesson we are learning from Jacob, he was thinking that he has received blessing until he met God. He saw now there is difference between God and any other person. He clinged unto God and asked him to bless. Even when he was fought on, that we tell you, you is that the road to spirituality, the road to God is a rough road. It's not easy. When I came in here for the fourth morning mass, I am the priest on the roadster in the parish schedule today. I decided to come for the morning mass. And I know, everybody knows, I know the scenario is quite conversant to me. But even when I saw the crowd again, at that wee hour or six thirty, I was with mouth agab. I opened my mouth. This is the goodness of the Lord. Do you think it is easy? If it is easy for people to wait, why didn't they come in this number yesterday? After, uh, obviously, I was also on duty roster yesterday. I will be tomorrow. I can never see the same number I saw today, even yesterday. You see it, and that will tell you. That is one thing we should know. Know it to you. The sacrifices you are making, all these things are gearing towards one thing. Hold on to God. Hold on to him. Relax. You may not find it easy. I tell you, to worship God is not an easy thing. Next Wednesday is Lent. You know what it reminds us. A time, a moment of asceticism. A moment of sacrifice. A moment of penance. A moment of suffering. That you even give yourself suffering to bear. Imagine that. That will tell you that good things do not come easy. Jacob received it very easy. The when they were born, the Bible said that the mother, Rebekah, preferred Jacob to Esau. Even in everything, Rebekah was helping Jacob. But at that, Rebekah was not able to help Jacob to achieve his aim. Yet, she aided him. But at the same time, Jacob has some hiccups. It's only when God blesses you that you relax to enjoy your blessing. Stop going to a man that gives you money and you say he's helping you. Stop going to a woman that actually satisfies your one. You don't know from the, where this woman is coming from. You may be satisfied. You may give reason that your wife is denying you, is starving you of sex, that your wife is doing this and that. You see your wife, no more feeling. You may, it's better. Call the woman if you don't want to marry. Tell her you are not married. Follow the normal process. Don't say because of a woman, you start to have an affair outside. You may have an affair outside and still come back. And then with the children, this woman that made you to have an affair outside have, the cause will now transfer. I pray that God will touch somebody. That God will forget your past. That he will never remember them again. As Jeremiah 31, 34 says, may he never remember your sin again. May he forget all your sins. And as he forgets them, he will never remember them. I pray now that as you turn towards God, that the mighty hand of God will be felt in your life. That this God that came and fought with Jacob will continue to be with you. 
Whatever your paths now, because you are a child of God, I pray that in no distant time, that after three days, you shall rise above your suffering. That as the word of God says, when there is a casting down, there must be a lifting up. I pray now that today is a day of perfection. That today that God will do all things. Our prayer shall be the prayer of the centurion. He told Jesus, go about your business. I am not bothered. I know in as much as you stand with me, that as I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but my servant shall be healed. Why not? Hold on to the word of God. The word of God today is, you are presented for perfection. Whatever that has polluted your life, coming from the spiritual world, coming from the problems of the world, I tell you that today is an exceptional day. Whether they like it or not, what God wants to do in your life must be achieved in your life. For the few that we are with me in the video, I insisted the prayer points may not actually go down well with you, but keep on praying because I believe this what God. And I tell you today, we have come again. You see it. Since July, we started promoting our video. This last video, January, is the one that has too many testimonies. I will not review them again because I know that the greater percentage of us, we are here last Tuesday. But you see it. That is the one that had too many testimonies on a single road. Who can do this if not our God? Today is another day. There is something I know that God has already started doing. And that is, he's already with you. He's going everywhere you are going. Because that thing that is imperfection in your life, he wants to take over that imperfection. In the case of Jacob, the Esau that was looking for Jacob to kill, in, verse, in Genesis 33, Jacob just saw Esau. After God arrested Jacob and blessed him, he just saw Esau and told Esau to come. Esau was, I don't want to come. He said, come. As he came, he told Esau, take this gift. He said, for what? We are enemies. He said, no, take it to confirm that we are no longer enemies. And Esau took it. You know Bible, Psalm, Genesis 33. I am quoting verbatim. Esau became automatically vegetable. Mumu. Anything Jacob tells Esau, Esau will do that. After that, Esau said, uh, Jacob told Esau, you take this, you go this way. Esau said, I will. He told him, go with this, my servant. Esau wanted to argue. He said, I will go with them. And they settled amicably. And that is why the Bible says that in the will of God, Ephesians 2, 14 to 16, is our peace. Why not? I pray for somebody today. When the storm is over, I, when the storm is too much, I know that our God will intervene. Today is a day, whether you like it or not, in his might, there is power, and he sees everything. God has seen your situation today. And as he has seen your situation, he will react over your situation. And with the eyes that are upon you, the hand that come after shall be a helping hand. And that hand shall assuage every problem. And unto that problem, there must be peace. Because your imperfections must be perfected now. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Stand up, stand up. Say after me. My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. Perfect everything that concerns me. Make it a prayer point seven times.
concise you. God shall perfect all that concise you. Jesus, you 
see Karam and the Reke. There is somebody, there is somebody. You are being presented for your perfection. Somebody give me J. Somebody give me E. Somebody give me S. Somebody give me Y. Somebody give me S. Call that name several times. Again. Again. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Aha, aha. By this day you have called. By this day you have called. You are perfect. The perfect thing. The perfect thing. When the perfect comes. When the perfect comes. Who has called Jesus? There is somebody. I present you now. In the name of Jesus you have called. For perfection. For perfection. There is somebody. There is somebody. There is somebody. You have called that name. Have you called that name? Aha, aha. First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 10. When the perfect comes. When the perfect comes. Give me J, give me E, give me S, give me Y, give me S. By the seventh time, the perfect Jesus shall call. Call the name Jesus. Turn around, call the name to you. Turn around and call the name three. We are going to seven times. By the seventh count, the perfect shall come. Around the corner, and four. Turn around the corner, and five. Get ready, Soko Roma Kara. Turn around the corner, and six. Turn around the corner, and seven. Yes, Lord. The perfect thing has come. The perfect God. The perfect God. The perfect God. There is somebody. There is somebody. Where you are now. Where you are now. The perfect God. The perfect God. Is there now? Is there now? Is there now? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He is there now. He is embracing you. A perfect God. A perfect God. When the perfect thing comes, I don't know what has happened in your life. But the perfect God is with you now. Is with you now. Receive him. Receive him. Receive him. Receive him. Receive him. Receive it, receive it. Somebody is receiving any imperfection. I don't know where you are. Any poverty, any non-marital status, any sickness, any detrogression, any barrenness, any infertility, any hunger, air that is upon you, any imperfection, any imperfection. I take authority. I don't know. There is imperfection. The perfect God, the perfect God is coming. Receiving now, receiving now. Any imperfection. There is some any imperfection upon your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, receive the perfection, receive the perfection, receive the perfection, receive the perfection. Whatever that is imperfect in your life, I take authority. I don't know where they are. Any imperfection, any hunger of imperfection, any poverty of imperfection, any infertility of imperfection. Any demotion of imperfection, any unemployment of imperfection, any austerity of imperfection, any setback of imperfection, any backwardness of imperfection, any failure of imperfection, let the perfect Jesus come now. Let the perfect Jesus come now. Let the perfect Jesus come now. Somebody give me J. Somebody give me E. Somebody give me S. Somebody give me your. Somebody give me S. In the name of Jesus, receive the perfect God. 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 Sokoro Makara. Holy Spirit, show me, show me, show me. Somebody that is mentioning this name, you shall not remain the same. You shall not remain the same. The perfect God is coming to you. Receive him now. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I am still praying. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 10. I am still praying. There are many prayer points that I must wear in any one.
I reach. Uh -huh. When the perfect thing, when the perfect comes, when the perfect comes, there is somebody. The perfect I know, the perfect I know, the perfect I know is the perfect I know. The perfect I know is a perfect. His name is J. His name is E. Obianando Made. The perfect I know is the perfect. 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 The perfect I know is perfect. The perfect I know is perfect. The perfect I know is perfect. Receiving now. J E S U S. When the perfect calls, the perfect I know is the perfect. Nyabianandoge, 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 anywhere you are, anywhere you are, the perfect I know is the perfect, the perfect I know is the perfect, the perfect I know is the perfect, give me J, give me E, give me S, give me Y, give me S, call that name with loud voice. You will jump up now, just call that name once. As you call down the one, so ah, when the perfect comes, the perfect I know is perfecta. The perfect I know is Jesus. The perfect I know is perfecta. The perfect I know can perfect. And the perfect I know is Jesus. Somebody give me J. Yeah. Somebody give me E. Yeah. Somebody give me S. Yeah. Somebody give me U. Get ready. Somebody give me S. Yeah. Jump up and call down perfecta. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The perfect. The perfect. The perfect. Somebody is cutting it. Somebody is cutting it. First Corinthians chapter 13. Perfect. Abatanandoge. Perfect. Abatanandoge. Yeah, perfect. Abatanandoge. The perfect is already there. 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 It's already there. It's already there. On your right. On your left. In your front. Behind you. The perfect is already there. It's already there. It's already there. It's already there. The perfect is. He's already there. He's already there. I see him. I see him. He's already there. He's already there. He's already there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. His seven justice is before you. His glory is behind you. He's already there. He's already there. He was already there. There is a perfecta in somebody's life. In somebody's life. Is in your life. Is in your life. Is in your life. Anything that is not level. Any rough. Any rough edges. Anything that is not level. Perfect has come in. Perfecta has come in. Every imperfection, every imperfection, wherever is coming from the underworld, from the pit of hell, from Satan, any imperfection in your life, John 10 10 B, the devil has come to kill, to destroy, uh -huh, uh -huh, and to stay. Any imperfection, any spirit of imperfection, any devil, any devil, I take you to, to wisdom, chapter 2, verse 24. Death can only come from Satan. Any Satan that is negotiating your death, any imperfection, I release anointing, I release anointing, I release anointing, I release anointing. Every imperfection, it is in the word of God, it is in the Bible. Wisdom chapter 2, verse 24. Any every death comes from devil, comes from devil. Stevo is a father of imperfection. Any imperfection, any imperfection, anywhere they are coming, any spirit of imperfection, anywhere they are, I release fire, I release fire, I release fire, I release fire, I release fire. Get in your game perfect. Get in your game perfect. What has made you imperfect? What has made you imperfect? Any Satan, any demon, any spirit, any Satan, any demon, any devil, any Satan, any spirit that has caused your imperfection. I come against them. I release fire. I release fire. Any imperfection death, any death of imperfection upon your body, upon your life, upon your family. I stand in wisdom 224. The death of imperfection, the imperfect death, the death of imperfection, it shall come to an end. Any death now coming from devil, coming from devil, the imperfect master, any imperfection by the imperfect master, any imperfection by the imperfect master, any imperfection by the Perfect master, any imperfection by the perfect master, I destroy it now. I destroy it now. Imperfect death shall not kill you. The devil shall not kill you. Any imperfect master, any imperfect demon, any imperfect demon, any imperfect demon upon your 
wherever they are, any demon bringing in perfection, any spirit of water, any spirit of marine, any marine spirit, any marine water, I call the spirit of imperfection. They shall catch fire, let them catch fire. Any spirit of imperfection, any demon of imperfection, any demon of imperfection, I release fire. Any spirit husband, any spirit wife, any spirit husband, causing your imperfection. Any spirit wife, causing your imperfection. Any water spirit, causing your imperfection. Any marine spirit, causing your imperfection. Any asmode was, causing your imperfection. Any mummy water, causing your imperfection. Any papi water, causing your imperfection. Any wizard, causing your imperfection. Any witches, causing your imperfection. Any demon of imperfection. Any devil of imperfection. Wherever they are, we release fire. We release fire. We release fire. We release fire. Demon of imperfection. In your life now, fire has come. Fire has come. Fire has come. Fire has come. I take authority. Verse 20 say, Ah, God has a plan for you. But the enemy has come to sow grass among the wheat. Where are you? There is a wheat here. There is a wheat here. But I see grass. I see grass. Any demon of imperfection, any certain of imperfection that is sowing grass. Hey, where are you? Power, 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 power. Kedonia, Okumporo, Naku grass. There is somebody that's sowing grass in your life. Matthew chapter 30. Show me Holy Spirit, any imperfection spirit, any imperfection, any spirit of imperfection, any devil of imperfection, any demon of imperfection, sowing grass, sowing grass among the way, among the way, among the way, get the vola, get the vola, get the vola, get the vola, Akuraifia, Akuraifia, Akanakuraifia, I release fire. Somebody at the grotto, somebody at the grotto, you are like a wheat, you are like corn, but you cannot germinate, you cannot do well, you cannot flourish. There is a grass, any devil of imperfection, bringing grass, there is somebody here, devil has sown grass, any imperfect spirit, any imperfect spirit, any demon of imperfection, in your life, sowing grass. Eba Wahana Akuraifia, how they meet their water low? They shall meet their dead. Any devil of imperfection, sowing seed or grass, sowing grass in your life. I stand in Matthew 13. Let them catch fire now. 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 Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Perfect master, perfect master. Begin to search for imperfection. I have Matut A, Matut A, Sokoro Makara, Hikara Mandereke, Matut 13, 26. God has a plan for you. But the devil has come to sow a grass. Begin now. Perfect. Perfect is with you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Begin now to fish out. My Jesus is going. From pit to pit. Kedonia, that grass I'm seeing, that grass I'm seeing, that grass I'm seeing. The enemy has done their worst, but the perfecter, the perfecter is moving now, he's moving now. In his own vineyard, Ororioko, Ororioko, he's your owner, he's your owner. Nobody has permission to sow a grass, any grass, any devil that has sowed grass, any grass sown. Eh, eh, perfecter is here, perfecter is here. Unto destruction, unto destruction, unto destruction. Any grass that sowing any grass they are so you are like a weed any grass of imperfection we release fire 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 anywhere they are we release fire we release fire in the holy ghost 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 Raise your hand. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The perfect is moving. All the way back to grass, he will stop. Yes, Lord. Eh, eh, eh. Kenwabola, Kenwabola. Where is that spinster? The perfect is before you. They saw the grass, grass. Causing imperfection in your wedding plan. Yes, Lord. Who have fear? Who have fear? By the count of seven, one, two, three, four. 
Five, six, seven, your deliverance is beginning. Where is that young girl? Where is that young girl? Uh -huh. hey, we're not sorry. Through their talk, through their gossip, they are shown grass. You are a wheat. Then there are grasses. Any grasses, any grasses, any grasses, any grasses. I stand in Matthew 15, 13. I approach it now. Any grass, any grass causing disappointment. Where are these girl is? Where are these young spinster is? Uh -huh. I approach now. I approach now. I approach now. Where is that woman? You are married. You are married. Is an escape. Your marriage is an escape. They said you will not escape again. They came to sow grass. Any grass mingle with it. Any grass by the fire of the Holy God. Let that grass, let that grass, let that grass. We with it now. We with it now. We approach it now. I don't know where you are. You have not conceived because they sow the grass. I have seen a grass in somebody's womb. Holy God, Holy God, show to me now. Perfecta, perfecta. Fish it out, fish it out. Any grass, any grass in somebody's war, any grass in somebody's war. I release fire, 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 I release fire. Every grass, every grass must burn by fire. The wheat must survive. The wheat must survive. In the name of perfecta. J E S U S Obido Obido from hand to hand, from we to we, from hand to hand, from pew to pew, from chair to chair. It has started. It has started. Time of uprooting any grass, any grass, anywhere it is, perfect of imperfection is here with you. Receive it, J, receive it. Receive it as, receive it yo, receive it as in the name of Jesus. Any grass, any grass, any grass, perfecta is within it. Perfecta is approaching. Madigade Mata. Somebody will be made raw. Somebody will be better. Somebody will be made raw. Somebody will be made better. There is somebody. You are, you are impoverishment. is not ordinary. You are impoverishment. is not ordinary. There is somebody dying of hunger. I can so say they came with Akanko Sase scattering spirit, before spirit, any grass, any perfect spirit. So the grass, a grass of Akanko Sase, a grass of Divora, anywhere they are. I am seeing somebody. I will your garden a gare, I will your garden a gare, I will your garden a gare, a grass sowing, a grass growing among the wheat. Eh, perfect. Eh, Kedonia, Onyega Raja, Onyega Raja. Only Jesus, who can see this sun? There is sun in your garret. There is sun in your garret. Who can see it? Who can separate it? Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. I call J. I call E. I call E. Holy Ghost, show me. Oh, we're going in there. I will go get an agare. Receive your deliverer. Somebody at the parish office front there. Receive your deliverer. Receive your deliverer. I will get an agare. I will get an agare. Get on your way, Raja. Holy Ghost, show me. Perfect is here. Perfect is here. Perfect is here. They want to rob you. They add sand in your agare. Jesus shall separate it. What you cannot see. What you cannot see. Perfect is Jesus. He can see it. Perfect is Jesus. Can see it. Perfect is Jesus. Can see it. Perfect is Jesus. Can see it. In the name of J. In the name of E. In the name of S. In the name of you. In the name of S. Here yeah, there is somebody. They put sand in your agare. They put sand in your agare. Eh. Uh -huh. Colossia. Cecilia. Cecilia. Stop there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can you now win your large and agare? Perfect. I move now. Uh -huh. Somebody watching me from the social media. I connect you. I connect you. Receive your deliverance. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They put sand in your garret. That is grass. They say perfecta will not do anything. Perfecta is siva. Perfecta is a separator. Perfecta is a distinguisher. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Holy God. Uh -huh. Take anointing. Get anointing. They put sand in your garret. Nobody can separate it. But Jesus is perfect. He can see the sun. Every grass in the wheat. Every grass in the wheat. Every grass in the wheat. The owner of the vineyard. Olorioko. I call him Olorioko. I call him Olorioko. He rides straight on a crook.
time. He rewrites your story. He keeps the record straight. Perfect a come. 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 Yes, Lord. Impoverished man. All your business plan is scattering. All your business plan. They are scattering them. Every business plan is scattering. Is scattering. I release fire. I release fire. Kedonia, they are scattering your business plan. Man proposes. God disposes. Whatever God has proposed, no power, no man, no demon shall dispose now. Any grass, ajaga yegenagare, scattering your business, devouring your business, near success syndrome, wherever they are, I pray for you. I can I release fire i release fire every sand in the garret i call them i call them set back set back stagnation any account i see any other guy in a garret somebody got them perfecter is here in the name of jesus in the name of jesus may you be perfected may you be perfected you shall be perfected your wealth shall be perfected your business shall be perfected your show shall be perfected your plan shall be perfected your proposal shall be perfected. Your capital shall be perfected. Your investment shall be perfected. Your aspiration shall be perfected. Your inspiration shall be perfected. Your life shall be perfected. In the name of J, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S, there is somebody is a true prophecy. Is a true prophecy. They have caused one wahara, one problem in your passport, in your passport. Any grass they joined in your passport, any sun in your business plan, in your traveling plan. I come against it now. Receive your deliverance. I don't want, I don't matter. Nagaya. I don't want a job mother. Any that are coming, evil man, pouring sun, evil woman, pouring sun, evil strong man, pouring sun, evil strong woman, pouring sun, any hand, pouring sun, any person, pouring sun, anybody, pouring sun, everybody, pouring sun, any beer, pouring sun, a hair, a hair, a hair, that's a that's a that's a is removed by Jesus, by Jesus, a hair, we remove it now. 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 Any bad spirit, any evil spirit, any evil man, spoiling your show, spoiling your blessing, pouring gare, pouring gare, pouring gare in your life, in your business, in your future, in your life, in your business, in your future, upon your destiny, everywhere they are, any gare that has sand, any life that has spoilage, any gare that has sand, any life that has spoilage, receive re deliver, receive deliver, I deliver you now, in the name of J, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S, somebody say Jesus, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, say perfect Say perfecta, say perfecta. Any imperfection that they have caused in any pollution they have brought in your life, in the name of Jesus, receive your liberation. Yes, Lord, 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 yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is somebody. There is somebody. The sun, they poor. They missed everything. But Jesus is there. 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 No matter how much they have poured sun upon your garret, I take authority. First Corinthians 13. The perfecter is here. Imperfection must go now. Jesus is interested. Jesus is interested in your case now. Kedonia. Jesus is interested. Jesus is interested. Perfecter is interested. He is taking over your care. Because your, your concern is his concern. What concerns you matters to him. What concerns you matters to him. Somebody has been a law. Somebody has been a law. Perfect is coming. Perfect is coming. Imperfection is going now. He's going now. He's going now. He's going now. That's separating grass from wheat. Grass from wheat. There is somebody. Uh, there is somebody. There is somebody. God is separating every grass in your life. Separate now. Power. I speak with authority. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. See ya. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Wheat is separating. The wheat is going to the right. Uh -huh. Grass go back. Uh -huh. Something is shifting back. Something is shifting back. There is somebody. A poison was projected in your left leg. In your left leg. It's shifting now. It's shifting away. Any projection. Any demonic projection. Any diabolical projection. Let it shift now. Let it shift now. Grass must separate from the wheat now. From the wheat now. Let it shift now. Let it shift now. Let it shift now. Any achaw. Any elure. Any achaw. Any elure. Any spiritual poison. Any spiritual projection. Any evil projection, any diabolical projection, any demonic projection, I command it now. I command it now in the name of Jesus. Let the grass separate. Let the grass separate. Let the grass go back. The poison is going back. The projection is going back. It is going back. The arrow is going back. I command it now by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, evil arrow. Go back now. Go back now. You will not touch again. The wheat now. They are the wheat now. You will not touch them. They are the wheat now. You will not touch them. Go back now. Go back now. Go back now. Every evil protection. Go back now. Diabolical protection. Evil arrow. I command you. Go back now. When there is a casting down, there must be a lifting up. I separate now. In the name of J. In the name of E. In the name of S. In the name of you. In the name of S. Every wheat from the grass now. I separate now. I separate you from poverty. I separate you from hunger. I separate you from barrenness. I separate you from infertility. I separate you from demonic possession. I separate you from demonic oppression. I separate you from enmity. I separate you from demotion. I separate you from stagnation. I separate you from backwardness. I separate you from failure. I separate you from marital disappointment. I separate you from singlehood. I separate you from sisterhood. I separate you from bachelorhood. I separate you from sickness. I separate you as a wheat now. And I command every grass as evil arrow to step back. Is a command from see a priest that I hear. Go back. Go back. What do you see I have for you? Evil projection must go back. Let your miscarriages go back now. Let your disappointment go back now. Let failure in life in our economy go back now. Let bad law go back now. Let jeans and cross go back now. I command them to go back now. Every grass in your life is leaving you now. In the name of J, in the name of E, by the command of the glory that goes to God, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S, you move forward as a ah, wheat and the grass is going back. The grass is going back. The grass is going back. The grass is going back.
Right away, right away, you are the wheat. Matthew 23. Any grass the enemy has sown, it must go back. It will go back to where it is coming. Every spiritual husband in your life, I command them to step back. Every spirit wife in your life, step back. Every spirit husband in your life, step back. Every marine spirit in your life, step back. Every water spirit in your life, step back. Every witches and wizard in your life, step back. Every aspodeus in your life, step back. Every cause and jeans in your life, step back. Every amulet and charm in your life, step back. Every pollution in your life, step back. I stand in Roman 8. Yes, separate now. Wheat from grass. As a child of God, you are you are wheat. Whatever that has come from the pit of hell must draw back now. Power, sure. If I, if we are priests, are your servants, sure. Uh huh. There is somebody. Something must be separated from you. Whether you know it or not, deliberately or indeliberately, by prosy or by physical. I take authority. Consciously or unconsciously. Spiritual husband, separate. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Ah. Spiritual husband. I command you by fire, separate from my people. Spirit Jesus. Uh -huh. For it, for it, for it, for it, for it. For it, the wheat must be different. The grass will step back for damnation and for consumption by fire. The wheat must remain. Spirit husband, separate. Uh -huh. Yes, the priests are speaking in the name and authority of Jesus. Luke 10. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Spirit wife. By fire separate. Marine spirit. By Holy Ghost fire separate from the wheat. I want to see Holy Ghost. Even as I close my physical eyes. But in the spirit, see ya. I am seeing the most marine spirit separate by command. By command. By command. 
water spirit separate by command in the authority of Jesus in the Holy Ghost. Abuku spirit or banja spirit, but me water. Papi water. River Niger goddess. Lagoon goddess. Ocean goddess. Mamed, 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 Mamed. Mamed, whatever that is not wheat, whatever that is not wheat, I call their separation now. In the Holy Ghost. Show me, Jesus. Holy Ghost, show me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oki kuku nuro nuya deretu. Hajomo nuro nuya waroto. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right away, right away. Mamed is a creature. Mist of ah. Ha half human, half fish. Whatever that is not perfecting your life now. I call spiritual man made. Any spiritual man made. Any spiritual man made. Wherever they are. Any spiritual man made. Any spiritual man made. Blocking your way. Making you not to be complete. Making you not to be perfected. Making you not to receive perfecting. Making your gift not to be perfect. I command them to burn by fire. Let them destroy by fire. Any physical man made. Any spiritual man made. Any man made from Lagos water. Any mame from Eastern Water, any mame from Niger Delta, even the mame in the desert, in Sahara, I come against them. I come against them. I come against them. Let us separate in the Holy Ghost. Show me, show me, show me. Close your eyes. 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 Imperfect and perfect are missed. Any confluence, here join it together that are not perfect. Any demonic conflicts, man made, man made, man made, man made, man made, by fire, by fire, by fire. I put that imperfect side. I pull it. Power. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't want to waste time. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I put the other imperfect side. There is an imperfect side that came to a creature that God made. Any imperfect side that align with you. I pull it by fire. I pull it. Pull. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And by the vision, I saw in the chapel, I saw in the father's house, by the vision, I have closed your eyes, put your two hands. I want to end this prayer. It's not how long. God will show. Go see Oh, so Makara Hikara. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Any imperfect creature, like an imperfection, a pig, a pig, a pig, any spiritual pig. Blocking your way. There is somebody. You dreamt about pig. About pig. Invading your life. Any spiritual pig. I saw it. See ya. What God has shown me. Am I lying? No. God, why will I lie in your presence? You told me. There are roads that are blocked. Pigs blocking the road. Like as it happened in Mark 5. Any demonic pig. Causing hindrance. Making your blessing to be hijacked. Hanging your blessing. I take authority. Close your eyes. Oh, my own sin on him, my mama. Pig lies that thing. Is a spirit of pollution, imperfection. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, I release now. We shall shout. We shall call Holy Ghost fire seven times. Yeah, maybe more. Somebody, you know. It's not how long I believe God has answered. There is somebody you dreamt about pigs blocking your way. Even yesterday and day before yesterday, there is somebody receive your deliverance. <laughs> Show me Holy Ghost. I don't need to open my eyes, but I know something is happening. Yeah, uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Keduba, Keduba, the farm that pigs have invaded. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I saw it clear. I saw it clear. Pollution, pollution, pollution. See, spirit, yeah. spirit of speak is a spirit of scatter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They are legion. Let them come out. I command them now to lose. Let them lose and manifest. Any spiritual pig, close your eyes. Manifest. Oh, close your eyes. We are not impressing anybody. Here, the guinea men are pocket. Pig is a gadabati ruzo. Is a spiritual blockage. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. 
Somebody dreamt about pig, receive your deliverance. Even somebody, anywhere you are, Soko Romakara, I will say Holy Ghost, and I will say those in the topmost four, Holy Ghost, and we come back. I am ending now. If I call where you are, you answer fire. The last one shall be fire, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I take authority, close your eyes, see nobody, and let nobody see you. Holy Spirit, I thank you for the visions of today. Jesus, I thank you for the visions of yesterday. God, you who is bringer of good things, thank you for making us see her. By the peaks you have shown us now, we command that peak to come out physical. Let that spiritual peak manifest now. Let it loose now. Those in top muscle, in the Holy Ghost. Receive your deliverance in that topmost hall. Spiritual peak that block your way causes you hindrance, hangs your blessing and hijacks it. For those at the middle floor of the parish hall, I command them to lose now in the Holy Ghost. Allow them. Hey, hey, receive your deliverance. Receive. Everybody close your eyes. Those are the ground floor. Yes. Any spiritual peak that have blocked your way, hanging your blessing, hindering you, and hijacking it. I stand in Mark 5. Let them manifest and lose now. In the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Yes, as you are closing your eyes, you are being delivered, you are being delivered, you are being delivered. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Those are the grotto. I join those at the labor between the parish fence and the parish shore to save time. Any spirit, spirit pig, spiritual pig that have blocked your way, hanging your blessing, hijacking your blessing, and causing hindrance. I cause them to lose now. Let them manifest in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Say fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are grow to receive, receive, receive. Onye maka peak be delivered now. Any peak blocking your way, let them leave you now. Those are the walkway. I join you with every other person at the parish office frontage. Any spiritual peak that has hoarded your life, taken over and possessed you. In the physical, I cause them to lose now. Let them manifest in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, be released, be released, be released. Those sharing this program at the social media in any platform, I connect you now. Distance is not a barrier. What the seer saw is for everybody. What I have for you is that every spiritual peak that has taken over. But in accordance with the word of God in Mark 5, let them come out of you in the Holy Ghost. I connect those outside with those inside the tent. Those inside the tent, I connect you now. Any spiritual peak that has taken over your life, I command them to receive fire in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. I connect everybody now. What the Lord showed to me, what the Lord has shown to me, let there be deliverance now. Any demonic power that arrested your life in form of peak, spiritual peak, demonic peak, devilish peak, evil peak, satanic peak of Mark chapter 5, I cause them to lose their host now. Let them lose their hearts 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 now. I connect everybody anywhere you are. We are releasing Holy Ghost fire. The seventh one shall be fire. And in any way, 
they have hijacked your blessing. They have made your blessing to hang up. Just like that man that said they are many. They cannot actually stop tormenting him. I torture every spiritual pig in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. I am receiving a message. There is this stubborn pig in somebody. The enemy has sent it. They must bleed now so that they go. They say that nothing will pursue them from you. As Jesus pursued that pig from the man in the tomb. Any spirit of pig. Show me Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As you put your two hands and close your eyes, anywhere they are now, distance is not a barrier. No matter how long they have been in your life, I break their power, I lose their holds. Anywhere they are, let them manifest and come out. Upon spiritual peak, we release several Holy Ghost fire in the Holy Ghost. Let it be hot in the Holy Ghost. Is going to your deliverance in the Holy Ghost. Somebody has dreamt about pig, about pig, about pig, about pig. We destroy that pig in the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There is a pig walking in your dream, walking in your, your farm. That pig will not manifest again. We cause the death by fire. We cause it to die now. Any pig walking on your passport, walking in your business, walking in your plan, walking in destiny, I come against them now. I release Holy Ghost. We are going five, five, five. I release Holy Ghost. We are going again. Every pig you dreamt in the dream, you have in vision, you saw in your dream and nightmare. Today, 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 let that pig die in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. And we go to seven, the last seven shall be fire. Yeah, yeah. We destroy them now wherever they are. As you put your two hands wherever they are, we destroy them. Watch it. They will try to come out. I command them, be quiet. If I'm serving a living God, let that pig live now. I, Leo, dreamt about pig, and I was given interpretation. There's somebody, you dreamt about that pig. They have finished, polluted every of your blessing today, today, today. We save it now. Yes, Lord. The Lord has eyes. He has eyes. Verse 18 of Sirach 15. In his might, there is power. We are getting now power. One to six and the seventh one fire. Here we are there are. Today is your day of deliverance. What we the priest have seen as your seer. May it manifest and leave you now. Any spirit and the money pig which into the abysmal hell fire. They are living your life. And we release the fire now with the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost, 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 last, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, free the money pig in the Holy Ghost, let them be destroyed in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. Hello, Rock, and I would 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 rock, and I from imperfection to perfection. Wait. Stand where you are. No rebe no. Wait. We shall move clockwise to align with the prayers. Clockwise. You will be going small. Don't attract this in it. Just like this. And you go clockwise. You reach and face the altar. Altar is not our terminating point. But it is our action point today. Yet, from imperfection to perfection. Once you reach there, watch it. Just more. 
60 seconds, just take it small, be going. I will tell you if I say start. Zechariah said in Zechariah 4 7, the hand that laid the foundation will make it to be start to finish. God has created you. You will see total deliverance going back and then, oh, Sokoro Makara, you are delivered, you are freed. Start! Turn gradually. Yes. Once you reach that point, you say, Jesus has perfected me. No, when I say finish, you say it. Start! Yes, Lord. Anointing, power, Holy Ghost, melomiachineke, through this spiritual exercise, perfect all that concerns your people. Gradual. You are doing this under one minute, don't rush. Clockwise. Face the altar. Start by turning to your right. Gradual. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. What happened? Yes, God is seeing you now. He has an eyes. Everything about you from imperfection to perfection. Somebody is receiving fruitfulness. Somebody is receiving fruit of the womb. Uh, are you the one? Somebody is receiving fruit of the womb. I am no longer talking about imperfection. I'm talking about perfect gift. James 1.17. Don't rush. Let it erupt anointing. If we are your priest, show me, show me that I prayed. Show me that you gave us vision for today's prayer. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Somebody is turning to angle clockwise. Clockwise is following the time. Everything must happen according to God's time. Ecclesiastes 3, 11, God must perform all things in his own time. Uh -huh. Somebody is turning. You are 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are the quarter after. Quarter after. Quarter after. Okay, me, okay, me. Ime, 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 ime. Ime, 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 ime. Anointing, anointing. Ayabu, nyamoma. Ayabu, siya. Uh -huh. I saw this, Koro. You have been delivered. I asked, why did I see people blocking my way? They say you must deliver people from the spirit of blockage, hindrance, hijack. Eh, 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 eh. Quota, quota, quota. Ima agabanye. Agabanye, agabanye. Mwa, onye na chongwa, onye na chongwa. Kedonya, kedonya. Onye muro fuga mwe po. Onye muro ebo ga mwe to. Onye na chongwa kege mwe to woke. Onye amu hocha. Oge me, oge me, oge me, oge me. Eh, eh, quota. Ona abanye. Tati. Half, half, for ready. That means, that means, as we are claiming fruitfulness for those looking for fruit on the womb, we are claiming blessing now. Father of all life, perfect of all gift. James chapter one, anointing Abia is it now in quarter, in half. Thirty, eba wa thirty day. It is there, it is there, it is there. At the mark of six, that is half, half past. That means a sign, a sign for a spinster. Oh, you're not chody. Oh, you're not chody. Anointing Abia. Anointing Abia. Eh, eh, eh. Perfection. 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 You shall go to the full time to perfect. Now, at that half, at that half, at that half, he who will bring blessing to your life, she who will bring your blessing to your life, is also receiving at the same time, at the same time. Remember, remember that God used the family of Tobias to bless Sarah. And you, Sarah, to bless Tobit. Do you know? Do you know? Both of them, Tobias A, Sokoro Makara, Hikara Makara, Sikara Mandereke, Hikara Makara, Sikara Mandereke. Tobit and uh, Sarah had the same dream at the same time. I take authority. I take authority. It is half past. It is uh, half past. Time on Made, Rube. Time on Made. Inudi, Inudi, Inudi. Menopause will not meet you. Perfection. Unto perfection. Get on one bona natural di. Your time is here. Eh? Now, Gapa, now, Gapa, now, Gapa. I declare from the distance you receive, I declare perfect marriage, perfect wedding. Unto the adorers, unto the spinsters. Take it. Yes, Lord. Eh? Uh -huh. Is going. Quarter to go. Quarter to go. There is somebody near success syndrome has killed your business initiative. It will kill it again. You are where we have the mark of nine. The figure nine in the time. That's where we are. Quarter to go. 
there is somebody. Holy Spirit, let the anointing move. Kedonia, there is somebody. They are saying, God must be consigned. He must let you go. He must let you go. He must let you go. John chapter 11. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Untie him and let him go. Quarter to go. Somebody has been experiencing near success syndrome. By the import of today's prayer, you are free from the vora. You are free from near success syndrome. You shall not meet failure at the verge of success. You shall meet success at the point of success. Receive your quota to go anointing. Receive it to prosperity. Receive it to financial breakthrough. Receive it unto perfection of your financial bill. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take it. Yes. We are the ice figure of nine. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I will never let you go. You must, ah, unless you bless me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are where there is mark of nine. You know, in the clock, 12, 3, 6, 9. Everything you are looking for. Uh -huh. You must move. Meet success at point of success. No longer the other way. The reverse will not be the case. You will no longer meet failure at the verge of success. But you shall meet success at the verge of success. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yeah, I believe we are here. Clockwise. Be ready. I release divine speed. I remember Isaiah 58. makara. That you shall receive healing hastily and speedily. May you receive perfect healing now. And from where you are. I shall breathe into you anointing that will take you to the last. Seven means perfect. Now, here be done, baby. Anywhere you are. <laughs> if you receive it, you shout, Jesus, perfect, Jesus has perfected me. <laughs> Jesus has perfected me. <laughs> Jesus has perfected me. Three. Please say it louder. This is the fourth one. Seven. He has made all things perfect. He has made all things well. Yes, Lord, take the anointing. Let everything be perfected now. Let everything be well. It is well with you. Your business is perfected. It is well upon your business. Your household is perfected. It is well upon your household. Your family is perfected. It is well upon your family. Your future is perfected. It is prospective and it is bright in Jesus' name. Your destiny is perfected. Receive it now. You are perfected. It is well with you. Somebody shall marry. Because you have received a perfect spirit. Somebody will move into the next level. God has perfected all that consign you. Promotion is perfected in your life. As I see you, I see a testifier. There is no more doubt in your life. There is no more lapses in your life. There is no more loopholes in your life. God has rewritten your story. And he has written straight on a crooked line. And the record has been made straight now. Receive it. I bless you. I bless you. And I ask my brother priest to bless you. Fathers, please raise your, raise your stool. Bring out that sticker. I learned that the sticker didn't go around. It doesn't matter. I pray for you. Today is a day of perfection. Somebody that has no car, you will have a car. 
There is a family that they have caused. Don't wear family abolono. I bless this sticker for you. They said even motorcycle no na mamba. Even bicycle na mamba. Every cause that you will never have anything that is any vehicular item. I destroy it in the Holy Ghost. As I bless, as we bless these stickers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Touch it on your face. Let it cause your good luck. You will get a car, you will get something that is bigger than a car. You shall owe a house in Jesus' name. You shall have a husband in Jesus' name. You shall have a wife in Jesus' name. You shall have children in Jesus' name. Your full house shall testify to the goodness of the Lord. As this blessed sticker is touching you, you are receiving good luck. Everything is done well for your sake now. Surprises shall happen in your life. It shall not shock you. It shall shock your admirers. They shall ask you, where is your God? And you shall take them to me who got pressure. And the God that shocked them shall surprise them. And they will receive surprising miracle. And I tell you, everything shall happen now in your life. And with this sticker, good luck shall follow you. Goodness shall follow you. Blessing shall follow you. Favor shall follow you. You shall not die in the hospital. The sickness inside you is dying now. Because as you see this sticker, you shall see the goodness of the Lord. Anybody that is sick has received healing now. Anybody that will travel, will travel and come back in Jesus' name. As you are touching this sticker, you are receiving good luck. Even those who are not able to buy in the spirit, you are receiving a sticker. May you catch a sticker now. As you catch a sticker, you are catching a good luck. In the spirit, you are you are, we have good luck. In the physical, there is good luck. Somebody shall pay school fees. Somebody shall clear his bills. Somebody shall pay her bills. You shall enter into somebody's hand. You shall pay your rent. You will renew your house rent. You shall build a house. And through this God that is coming, somebody shall be a miracle. A miraculous person in Jesus' name. God has perfected you. God has perfected you. God has perfected you. Place that stick on your head under one minute. Go see how you able to go. Oh, neighbor, to go. I go see. Even if you don't have, I excuse everybody. We asked for more 5,000 stickers since last Wednesday. The machine of our, the yes, of our printer got spoiled. He didn't tell us. Maybe it's yesterday when they were about to print out. So in the physical, yes, Lord, under one minute. Yes, sticker means something that is pasted. Stick. Let there is somebody, God is writing something, it must stick. Your consign is my consign. Yes, Lord. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I have perfected you. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Don't touch anybody. Don't touch anybody. God is using that sticker. Even me that have no physical sticker. I am touched. I am touched. I am touched. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Number one. Number two. Number three. Uh -huh. Number four. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's touching you. He's touching you. From 10,000 to 7,000. 7,000 to 700, 700 to 70, 70 to 7, 7 to 6, 6 to 5, 5 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to, number one person is you, is you, is you, is he touching, is he touching, is he touching, exactly, is he touching, is he touching, 3 minutes to 3, to 2, uh -huh. yes, 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 stick a stick, I have perfected you. 
His word is yes and amen. Second Corinthians 120. Second Corinthians 120. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Take it, take it. By anointing, by anointing. I perfected you. He has perfected our vision. He has perfected our vision. He has perfected our prophecy. He has perfected your prayer. As Father Kirian prayed at the beginning. Ah, all our prayers, all our adoration today shall be perfected in the name of God. In the name of J E S U S. I see that writing as you are touching the sticker. Abu God in way sticker. God is touching you. Stick. I have perfected something is sticky. Something is sticky. anointing. Close your eyes and take anointing. Close your eyes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He is touching. He's touching you. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Oh Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord. I bless you now. Thank you, Jesus. Stick all over God. Onya se na hama mba bai school ga bazi moto. Onya se na hama mba bai school means ni mamwe duno. Ki na bazi moto ki ga alone na ha Jesus. Adoras family of Omi who put Jesus. That is what you are tasting on your face. Anointing is confirming you as an adorer. You are an adorer of Omi Hupu. That sticker must stick in your life. God shall perfect all that concerns you. May God touch you again. Amen. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Press your stone. Make it easy. I need a touch from the master. I need a touch from the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord. Father, touch me, Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord. Just one more time. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time. One Touch time. me one As more time. time. Oh Lord. Touch Adora one more time now. Touch, Touch him. Touch her one more time now. With this sticker, physical or spiritual. Touch somebody and confirm that he she belongs to Omi Hupu family. This is here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. I was the stones of the priest are up. Receive your blessing. You shall ride a bicycle. You shall ride a motorcycle. You shall ride a car. Obeying Wegiri is not for you. God has touched you. He has perfected you. You shall travel. You shall receive visa. And you shall receive appointment letter. Somebody shall give you a gift. A good gift that will be a blessing. The salary they owe you shall come to you. You shall receive an attractive salary. Whatever that will perfect you must be released now. I release it in the name of J. In the name of E. In the name of S. In the name of you. In the name of S. Somebody say Jesus and receive your gift. Jesus, I receive your gift. I bless you in the name of the Father with my brother priest. I bless you, we bless you, they bless you, and we bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I claim it, I receive it, I receive it. Amen. Amen. Amen.